I Patello. So, I honestly haven't looked at it. I've never seen one in person. It's never been at a BNC meetup. It hasn't. It just I, hasn't. I, I, I was mentioning to you that we, I rarely see any Panasonic cameras at, at all. all. Yeah, I know. That way. That Miami Fluff. Good stuff. Yeah. So, do you want to do the unboxing? You want to open it? Well, my hands are they're kind of let's see, they're kind of chat. So, it does kind of have a like this uh, luxurious red interior. I think that's kind of on brand though for the Lumix. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. battery or something? Oh, it has the same battery as the. It looks like an XT4 battery, sort of. Oh no 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 no, like an SL battery. All the L mounts don't <laughs> they don't share the same. No, batteries. they don't. So I had to get a new battery. It looks like an SL battery. <gasps> Are they the same? No, they're not. They're not. They're not. It's nice though, to be honest. It's kind of nice. So this hand sanitizer. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna pick it. Just yeah, don't do that. Dude, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Wait, you didn't bring your? Oh, cause you don't have an S1 or S1. No, I traded it in. Okay. This kind of, I don't know, feels kind of rubber. Yeah. It's, the same kind of material. Kind of like on the S1R. Yeah. It looks like it's the same. Yeah. It's almost like a, you know, like a rock climbing gym kind of. Like, I don't know, I've never been to a This is the indoor rock climbing of cam yeah. climber of cameras. Yeah, because, you know, extra grip. Right? Yeah. So. The record button. That's kind of cool. s one h has that. <laughs> S1R? Does it have a dedicated button? Yeah. I think so. I think so. Your S1R? I treated it. <laughs> no, I think it does. It's not metal like this, though. It's not just pretty. Yeah. I mean, for, for the most part, the dials are all metal. Right? Similar, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. yep. All metal. Right. Oh, that's metal. Yeah. Yeah, that's metal. Oh wow, that's gonna be making adjustments for like shutter speed really easy. Well, the back has oh, sorry, obviously yeah. a joystick. It's got all the. Where's the, the screen? The quick controls here to switch it between single, continuous, and manual focus. Dude, this is nice. Okay, so the screen, you can hide it. Right. So if you open it. So I get it. I'd rather it just pop up, yeah. but okay. I get it. Like if you want to do a selfie, right? If you're or if you're on a vlog or something. I mean, if we were doing one of these, we right actually now. see what the hell we're, we're watching, we're recording. Yeah, this one art does not have. Before. No, it has like a uh, it has like a Fuji XT3 okay. or style rear screen, it, but it'll pivot. Or no. It doesn't fold flat on itself, but it does do the whole like tilting out. You know. Okay. So there's there's some flexibility there. Oh, actually, I have an XT4. Wait, you do? Yeah, I have so an XT4. Fun. <laughs> Why don't you bring that? <laughs> I know, right? When First. Uh, no, but it feels oh. amazing. I like the size. Yeah. The size is dope. The size is good. It's compared to your SL2, for example. And it's the same same mount. Full frame. Same full same frame mount. mount. It's a feature right there. Yeah, like this whole system just has like a rubbery feel to it. Like, do you know like that sticky rubber? Like, like good? Like, good rubber? Good sticky rubber? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Rubber. Sure, why not? Aperture ring? No. No, aperture, no aperture no. ring. Okay. Manual autofocus switch. P1.8, full frame. This size. Dude, the size of like a XT4. And this has built in uh, Stabil stabilization. Yeah, really good stabilization too. Yeah, I don't know. It, it has the same feel as the A7, like when, when I first held the A7 II with its burger-like grip. I forget who said that. Was it a Kai, Kai Man Wong? Burger-like grip? Yeah, yeah, it feels like a burger. It's kind of, it's beefy. It's beefy. It's a beefy grip. Yeah. I think it's a pretty sexy camera. I think it's got like, I've always thought it was like a Sony and a Fuji had a baby. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's no real vintage hint to it, you know? Which is fine. It's all futuristic, I think. Like, yeah, I think a lot of it is. It's all uh, feature based with its buttons. But there's, I feel like, um, I feel like the buttons lend itself all to you know good ergonomics because you can. No. The S1R was great. Yeah. In that way. First impressions of it, just feel the size. It's full frame. The way it's made, dude. It's gonna be that like quality that I'm used to from the Lumix stuff. So what will you be using this for? Maybe? A work camera. A work camera? Oh, yeah, you yeah. Said, like you mentioned, you said travel slash work if you had to. Especially for that, yeah, like when I go travel with my family and I'm trying to tie in some sort of work, mm. then I don't have to pack a big a big camera. I could pack this, and, and really I could just do it all with this camera, but I probably should, like pack a rangefinder, yeah. digital rangefinder, and then this guy with like a 50 or another lens that we have. What is this contrast? Contrast? It's, yeah, uh, contrast only. It's um. It works really well though, honestly. Contrast is very accurate. Oh, dude, it focuses quick. 
So do you think you're gonna get one? Uh, we'll see, we'll see, I don't know. If you didn't, let's say you didn't have... If I didn't have... Uh, honestly, 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 honestly. Now, you're, you're kind of a, like a... You love like that. Yeah. And, and there's something to it. I mean, the build quality is a little different. Though, honestly, I'd say it's different, but not worse. Mm -hmm. That's more metal feeling, this is more plastic feeling, but as far as being plastic, it still feels really good. Yeah. Uh, I guess it depends. I'd have to gauge my needs. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there on the market. There's the Fuji, the Sony's, and all that. So if this Fuji X-C4 and this are the same size, which I should have brought it up and compared uh, it later, well, the thing would is, you lean towards the full frame though? Because that's always kind of like, I, I you actually, don't need full frame. We, yeah, we don't. I, I do like the Fuji system. They really did flesh out their lens system, so that's kind of a win for them. Um, the potential for me is, uh, the full frame sensor, obviously, and then just the the access to the L mount lenses. As well as, right. You know. That's a good point. Yeah. So.